Okay, guys, so here it is. It's still got the ceiling on it, but from my first perspective, and I'm actually going to move this stuff back a bit because, well, it's pretty dang messy. Um, it should be fine over there. Okay. And there goes my mouse. Okay. Should be pretty fine. Okay. Sorry. All right. So, as you can tell, it looks pretty sleek. Um, has some really nice cushioning um, back here, and the strap looks really nice. It um, looks like it breathes very well because it has the nose strap. Um, I'm actually going to put this on and tell you if it's top heavy or anything. And no, actually, it looks quite cool, and the straps are a bit tight, but um, you can adjust that right here using the things, and if the lenses are too far apart, you can... Um, use these little levers on top to switch back and forth to where you want them to be. So, it's really nice. We're going to go ahead and take off this plastic seal right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. So now it should slide back and forth. It's got this, like, matte black kind of a uh, finish on it. And right here, this is for your camera if you want to actually put a camera in there. Now, if you're asking how to put your phone in there, there's a tray right here. You're just going to want to slide it out, and as you can see, there's this spot right here. This is where your phone's actually going to go, and you may be like, my phone's bigger than that. Well, it has a tray that goes up and down, so it'll go in this area. So once your phone's in there, you can actually reroute your audio cables to um, come out the side. So as you see, I'm going to put it back in here. There's these holes in the side, so like a char charging cable or audio cables. And, I mean... I think it's a really good idea, actually, um, myself. Um, looks really sleek, really nice. Um, tell me, guys, if you... Oh, wait. The lens. They're supposed to be blue, but I don't see it. That's okay, though. But So I'm going to take these lenses off, these covers off. They're quite heavy. Um, let's take the other one off. Okay. So you're not going to want to stretch these lenses. Um... It does look quite good on the inside. I can't really get it for you that much, but you can see the reflection of the screen. But I'm going to set this down. We're going to review the controller. So it comes in this little box. I just dropped this out of the container. This is the the controller. Now, my uh, cousin uh, Brandon said it could hold like this or like this if it was a shooter game. I'm not sure if it's that capable. It is really cheaply made, um, but it has a power button, a at button, I don't know, an A, B, and C button. Um, so, I I'm not sure, actually. Uh, it looks just like a Wii Nunchuck, and it takes a AA battery, I do believe. Double A? Two trip, two double A's. So, um, I've heard that this doesn't even work, but I hope it does. Um, in the packet, we also get a couple of extras. Um, right here, these are pads to go on the top and bottom of the uh, headset so it doesn't scratch up your phone. The headset tray, I mean. And it also comes with a green microfiber cloth. If I can find it, I already took it out on accident. But it looks like there's a couple of instructions here. Yeah. They're all in Japanese, which is uh, fine, I guess. I, I don't know. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this. Um, this will be going on YouTube, this review. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.